what's going on guys let's do this problem right here his question is asking determine the voltage gain of the circuit shown in figure 5.114144 assume v is equal to infinity now here we have a circuit now let's go ahead and draw the equivalent circuit for this equivalent small signal circuit model will look like this and this one the voltage across here is V5 1 and this one resistance is R51 and this is RC and here we have V output GM2 V52 and this one is GM1 V51 and here we have voltage input voltage input this is Vx and this one is resistors here is R52 and the voltage across here is V52 okay now this is the equal and circuit model now what we are going to do is we are going to apply kcl here okay if i apply kcl this is going to be vx divided by r52 minus gm2 v52 plus vx minus v out divided by rc is equal to zero here we are going to solve for Vx. We are going to rearrange this one, everything in terms of Vx. And if you do that, you will end up with Vx is equal to V out, V out divided by Rc times 1 over R52 plus 1 over R52 plus also here we replace this replace this uh, V5 with V52 in the middle in that way V52 with Vx here we have V52 since V52 is equal to negative Vx we replace this one and get rid of this V52 and then we only write in terms of Vx and if you derive the equation for Vx alone you will get 1 over R52 plus 1 over RC plus GM2 now this is the derivation for Vx now now the next thing is we are going to calculate um, our main purpose is to find out the V out over V in so we had to find out, find out V out over V in now let's go ahead and see how to do that now what I'm going to what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply KCL at V out if I apply KCL at V out, the equation will become R out minus Vx divided by Rc plus Gm Vf V51. Actually, V out, V V out minus Vx divided by the resistance between that's Rc plus Gm V51. Gm v51 should be equal to zero then here we have this one and then uh, we are going to arrange rearrange this one in e this equation in terms of v out if we do that v out will become <coughs> actually in terms of uh, gm v51 Let's do that in terms of GMV51. And also here we have to know that V51 is equal to negative VN. So instead of GMV51, I'm going to put negative VN. And this is going to be, if I bring this to the other side, GM, negative GM. And instead of V51, I'm going to put negative VN. Because we want to finally derive VN over V out. Okay. Then. Uh, v out remains here 
minus vx so instead of vx what i'm going to do is i'm going to substitute this whole thing that's why we derive this one first instead of this vx i'm going to substitute this one here so this will become v out over rc 1 over r phi 2 plus 1 over rc plus gm2 the whole thing will be divided by rc okay now we have a better expression and finally if you rearrange this one everything in terms of gm1 v v in gm1 v in you will get this one is gm1 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 v in you will get an expression like this v out rc times 1 over r phi 2 plus 1 over rc plus gm2 minus 1 divided by rc rc 1 over r phi 2 instead of rc rc we can just put rc square rc square 1 over r phi 2 plus 1 over rc plus gm2 okay this is gmvn now finally we want to derive an equation in, uh, in terms of v out over vn if we derive this one in terms of v out over vn um, let's see in so instead of v out over vn finally when we simplify and derive this is the derivation we will get v out over vn is equal to gm1 rc plus 1 over 1 over r phi 2 plus gm2 okay and also we can express this one as gm1 rc and r phi 2 in the numerator rc plus r phi 2 in the numerator and 1 plus gm2 r phi 2 and that's it this is v out over v in that's how we do this kind of problems i hope you guys find this video helpful thanks for watching and if you are trying to learn electronics too there are a bunch of videos in my playlist i hope you guys watch that too don't forget to subscribe see you next time